I'm going to give it to y'all in the milk. Y'all want it in the T-bone. Tell me. I give it to y'all both. You want to pour the house? Amen. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible tells us, do not fret because of evil men or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. And like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn. The justice of your cause like the noonday sun. And seven, he says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Amen. Amen. Do not fret when men succeed in their ways when they carry out their wicked schemes. You know, we got to understand that God is telling us to be still no matter what's going around us. No matter what wars that we're going through, no matter we see other people doing better than we are, and they're living like a heathen. They're living like the devil in the Bible. This is what he's telling us. But yet we get envy. Amen. And we envy because he's doing better than we are. My God, I'm talking to somebody. And let me give it to y'all in the, in the King James. It says, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. You know, don't be envy because they're doing better than you are. Amen. Amen. For they shall soon be cut down, the Bible says, like the grass and wither as the green herb. What it's telling us is that you're looking where you are, but it's better to look at what I have. I got Jesus here. Come on, somebody. I'm going to keep on going. He's going to get cut down. My God, I'm talking to somebody tonight. He's saying, don't, don't, don't get envious. Don't be all prideful and arrogant and get all upset and everything because he's doing better than you are. He said, because they're going to get cut down. You got Jesus. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. To be envious of the wicked is a temptation when one sees him pros prospering. Oh, my God. Listen to what it says. To be envious of the wicked is a temptation when one sees them prospering. Such an attitude is in essence doubting God's justice. Mm -hmm. And he said it is pro it's prohibited that we think that way. True. Amen. Are y'all with me tonight? Amen. Amen. You know, look what it's saying that we even get tempted because we see somebody that, hey, he's living like the heathen, but he's driving a better car than we are. He got a better job than we had. His bank account is bigger than us. Right. Come on, talk to me, somebody. But God in this mess, he's saying, be still. Because I'm God. Amen. I'm giving you something better than what they have. Yeah. My God, I'm talking to somebody. To refrain from envy, and it says, the wicked is easier if we stop to consider their destiny. Amen. Amen. We got to we got to stop and think about where is their destiny. I know where my destiny is. My, I'm going somewhere. Come on, somebody. Amen. Oh, I don't hear no glory in the house. I, I got a destiny. I, I can't be envying their destiny. Because if we're envying their destiny, we're going to end up just like they are. My God, I'm talking to somebody. We're going to be in the wars that they're going through later. And we ain't going to be trusting in God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Trust in the Lord and do good, it says. Yes. It said, trust in the Lord what? And do and do wrong. No, do good. It said, do wrong. No. What did it say? Do good. It says to do good. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Y'all don't hear me tonight. Amen. Trust first, he's saying. When you don't trust in the Lord, you know you won't even do good. That's true. But God is saying, trust in me and also do good. Because you tr can trust in me and still not do good. I'm talking to somebody tonight. We gonna say, oh, I trust in God. But you, we turn around, we done fell off. Wow. 
getting all mad at the pastor because he got special rules. My God, I'm talking to somebody tonight. Don't like the way the home is run. Help me, Holy Ghost. We're too busy, got our eyes on somebody else that has no destiny. Somebody ready to run out the home. Come on, somebody. And I ain't talking to you, man. I'm talking, I, I've seen it more than once. Why? Because we're too busy looking at somebody else that has no destiny. My God, I'm talking to somebody tonight. Help me, Holy Ghost. It says, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of the heart, my God. And let me, let me go back over here. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy a safe pasture, my God. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And now he says, commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. You know, you, don't you know you got to commit yourself? You can't do nothing if you don't commit yourself to the Lord. I mean, committing yourself and saying, you know what? I'm going to do this and I'm going to do what I say. I'm not going to commit, say I'm going to commit today. And then you, no, no, you know what? I, that's not me today. I, you know, I don't want to live this way. But he, what, what did the word say? Commit your way to the Lord. Yeah. Trust in him and what? And he will do this. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. He said you will walk in and people will honor you because of your righteousness. Mm -hmm. He said that you will stand. In. He said he will do this. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. But he said you got to commit your ways and you got to Amen. trust in me. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn, the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. You know, we have troubles being still, brothers. Yes. Did you know that? We want things, we, we, we're, we're like, you know, we, we live too worldly out there. Everything we wanted quick. I wish we got paid on Wednesday, not on Friday. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, why, why can't we get paid on Monday and stuff? Help me, Holy Ghost. My Lord, my Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. God's covenant promises to his people was they would dwell in the land if they obeyed his commandments. That's what he was telling us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Those who were loyal to Jehovah, he said, you will live in this land if you keep your promise to me, Amen. if you follow my commands. Amen. When there is close fellowship with Jehovah, a person's desires in his heart will match God's will and purpose. Amen. Amen. This is Amen. what the word is telling us tonight. Amen. When you stand in fellowship with Jehovah, with God, with Jesus, your desires of your heart, he will give you that. Do you know that? Yes, he will. That's his word. That's what Amen. he's telling us. Amen. My God. Sometimes to rest silently in the Lord is the result of discipline. That's why, let me get up in here. Let me, let me keep reading. Commit that way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Yeah. And you know, when he's saying this, he said, you know, if you trust in him and everything that you ask me, the Bible tells him he will bring it to pass. That's true. Really? That's what he's saying. But you got to be still and wait on me. Yes. He says, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness and as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. He said, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. That's, a, that's our problem. We don't have patience. Most of us say, you know, we can manage each other. And we're like, God, I need patience with this brother. No, you don't. You need grace. Amen. You need to keep asking God for grace and not patience. Because he'll give you patience. And you know what? You're going to wait a long time. And I promise you, we don't have patience, so we ain't going to wait. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Help me, Holy Ghost. Sometimes to rest. And then he says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his ways. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, my God. Don't worry about what other men are, what they have, he's saying. He said, they're bringing it with evilness. Right. Amen. Amen. We're too busy. We upset on ourselves because of him who prospered in his way. 
but he ain't doing it right. Help me, Holy Ghost. Because of the man, what? Who bringeth wicked device to pass. Seize from anger, it says, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Yes. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes the, the word is telling us tonight that to rest in the Lord silently in the Lord is a result of discipline. It means to wait on the Lord instead of acting on one's own, my God, one's own, one owns his own desire. You got to be quiet. The Bible says you got to, you got to wait. You, it says rest, rest, be still and know that I am God. Amen. Rest and know that I am God. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't hear me up in here. Rest in the Lord. We have this. This is talking to us that sometimes discipline gets in front of us and we don't like it. We don't like discipline. We never have. That's why our pride rises up. That's why we're no, no, I'm going to do it my way. Because we don't trust in God. We don't, we don't see what, what the speaker or the, the, either the priest or the pastor or the minister, evangelist, whatever it is. There's something that God, he can see that's good in you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not here to judge nobody. Amen. I try to look at, you know, there's, there's a saying, you got to look at the 101%. I got to look at each and every one of y'all and find the 1% that's good in y'all. Come on, somebody, and then give it my 100%. Amen. That's what real true leaders do. Amen. If I got mad at y'all and threw y'all just because y'all do one thing or whatever, and sometimes I might say something, amen, and y'all don't like it, because there's a purpose behind it. You have to sit still and go, okay, what am I not seeing? Mm -hmm. What am I, am I moving too fast? Am I not focusing on something that I'm doing? I want to do my best. I want, when I tell y'all to do something, I want y'all's 100%. Not 100%, I want 101%. Come on, somebody. It's good to see my brother David in the house tonight. Amen. Seven years sober. So got to hit him over the head sometimes. But he takes correction. I don't feel, I don't see no pride rise up in him. Why? Because he learned how to trust in God. Amen. He learned how to be still. And he wasn't he wasn't like that every first first of the year, first two, three years. He done got up and went and found another job somewhere, my God. But hey, talk to him, David. To God be the glory. He's still sober. Amen. He's still acknowledging who his Savior is. Come on, somebody. We all fall short in the glory of God. Amen. We all fall short. Amen. But I tell you what. We got to learn how to rest in God. Amen. Amen. We got to learn how to rest in God. Are y'all with me tonight? Amen. amen, amen. Give him glory in the house. Amen. Can I give y'all a little bit more? Yes, sir. The Bible tells us, and I'm not even going to take y'all to this scripture, so y'all won't even know where it's at. He says, who can understand his errors? And he was saying, the psalm was saying, cleanse me. I'm going to give y'all a hand, Amen. Who can understand his errors? What is it saying? We can't understand our own errors when we mess up. Amen. He said, cleanse thou me from secret faults. Mm, my God. But let me back it up a little bit. Can I back it up a little bit? Yes. He says in verse 10, let me take y'all to the scripture, amen. Y'all will think I'm reading out of another book or something. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. Psalms 19, verse 10. More to be desired are they than gold. Yeah, it says. Than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. And in keeping of them, there is great reward, my God. It says, in breaking it down, it says, gold and honey were valuable. Come on, commodities in the ancient world but God's word are even more valuable the warning and reward are both positive benefits of knowing God's instruction brothers and sisters 
because they keep God's servant from straying off the path of righteousness. My God, this man just said it today while he was up here. When you learn how to be still, you don't get off that path of righteousness. And this is a great path. This is, this is something that, that when I was listening, when I was listening and I was sitting still, listening to what, the, what, what was being said to me through the Holy Spirit, through others, you got to really listen when the Holy Spirit is talking. You got to be sitting still firm and want this that because God fights the battles. Amen. God fights the battle. You don't fight the battle. He fights the battle. He just wants you to sit still and let him have his way. He's your refuge. He's your refuge. Psalms 46, starting at verse 10. Verse 10. Psalms 46, when you got that, say amen. 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 Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. I, I, will, I will be exalted among heathens. I, I will be exalted exalted. In, in the earth. Verse 11. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jabbar is our refuge. Mm -hmm. Shalom. Listen here, y'all. This is how powerful it is. And, and not putting a name or a title on what God has, on, 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 on what his word, because this is his word. Mm -hmm. Listen here, y'all. Study to be still. Study to be still. You know when I say study to be still, we have lived such radical life, my brothers and sisters, that we when we have we called on God, or we still sitting still, or we're studying and being focused where He's bringing. We call Him to bring us out of dungeons and death traps and whatever we we've been on, yeah. or whatever we're going through right now. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and then He studies showing in, in front of us what's happening, how death, how the enemy is trying to take death. Where you going? Are you saved? Do you want to be blessed? Do you, do you want to come out of what you're in? You, you want this change. You want this change. All these actions, whatever it is, sometimes you just have to stop. Stop and be still. Yes. You know, that sometimes you have to cut the radio out, mm. cut the TV out, to get somewhere quietly and let the Lord tell you something. Amen. He needs us to sit still. You know, because all the time he's trying to tell us and, ex and explain to us that he, he's the refuge, he's the God. Mm -hmm. He's God of God through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Check this out. I got a plan for you. Let me do the fight. I just need you to sit still. Amen. You're moving too much. Come on. I can't even, you're asking me to help you. But every time I come to help you or tell you what's something or death or somebody that died or going through something, mm -hmm. or I didn't send one of my my minutes or my servants to pray for somebody, is you listening? Is you sitting still to hear? Mm. This is a matter of life and death. Study to sit still. What he's saying right now in these wars and in these battles that you're going through, is not even your fight. Mm. Come on, talk to him. You actually come out of what you're dealing with. The drugs, the alcohol, whatever, the pornography, whatever you, whatever you think, you might be going on something through your job, mm -hmm. in your life. It's something that you're dealing with that he's asking you to sit still and let me do the fight, let me do the war. This God that we serve through his son, Jesus Christ, he fights all the battles. He ain't never lost a battle. Mm -hmm. And what he's saying is us as his children, as his sons and daughters, let me take over. Put me in front of this. I just need you to sit still right now. Study me and sit still. Let me fight this battle. Let's go on through it this year. Right here in, 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 in Exodus, I'm just going to use for this example, is the true story of Exodus, the book of Exodus. In chapter 14, he was talking to the, the, he was, he was talking to the, uh, uh, the, the Israelites, and they was getting ready to come up out. They was coming out of Egypt. They was in the land of Egypt. And this is what the Lord said. This is what it said. Uh, uh, Exodus chapter 14, verse, verse 14. The Lord said, the Lord, the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Mm-hmm. The Lord shall fight for you and hold your peace. You know why he, that was said at the time? For the people, the people in uh, uh, Egypt had came up out of there. They was on the go. They were going to get out of there. When they seen Pharaoh's army coming, they all forgot about the Lord. They, they panicked. 
They got all sterile. They got all sterile. Didn't know what to do. Call them. Moses, what you gonna do? Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. All the time, the Lord was trying to tell them. This we tell them. You need to. You need to just be still. Mm. You need to be still. You didn't call on me. I got this. But I can't. I can't. How can I handle this? If you if you rambling and moving around, I just need you to be still. Sometimes he had to put us in stage in, in, in areas that he needs us to settle settle down. Sometimes it might be on your deathbed. You might be sick anyway. He does that. Mm -hmm. He does that. He might have to put you in some type of home or do whatever, brothers and sisters, but this is how he had to get, you, get your attention to sit you still. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you have to go through something and see that y'all would took you to your death and you weren't living right. And now you decide to get quiet and sit still. Because now you're ready for what he has to offer. Because mm -hmm. you now you need that change. And it got to that point you had no choice but to sit still. Mm -hmm. mm. So this is what he tells us. To be ready to study. And see, in and, 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 and this hill, they was calling on him. And they needed him. But all he needed them just to be peace. He had this. He had this already planned. He already knew he's going to get them across there. It's already set up. But they got all radical and hysterical and panicked. And all the Lord just say, just be quiet. Have peace. I got this here. If I brought you out there in a fight, well, I'm not going to keep the fight going because I got this fight. Mm -hmm. This is what we have to see in this and what's going on in our lives now. Amen. The Lord has this. He needs us to be still. Study to be still. Brothers and sisters, it's a plan. He does his things for a purpose and reasons. He brings you into places that you meet that he needs you to sit still. Well, he, he got a plan for you. It's a growth, because the enemy not playing. Let me tell you about the heathen. We all had heathen examples. And those heathens that you're dealing with out there, they ain't playing with you. They have no love for God. They don't like God. They don't serve God. They just do what they do out there. They everywhere. But, but he needs you to sit still so he has the plan that he can fight this battle, this war that's going on, because this war is not even about you. It's about the Lord. He has this. He's in total control. So we have to, we have to sit still on the know what the Lord is doing. Mm -hmm. When do you sit still and be quiet and let the Lord have his way where he can talk to you, where you listen? And when you listen to these instructions, that you follow these instructions. And being sitting still is listening, humbling yourself, accepting humiliation. It ain't about the clothes. It ain't about the car. It ain't about the house. It's between you and the Lord. He knows, he knows and provides what you really need. He knows what battle and what war you finna go into. So he need to handle that. So he need to get you under the body attention that you be still. Mm -hmm. And the only way you're gonna get there is if you study to be still. Like you say in 2 Timothy, study to show yourself approved on the God. A work not be ashamed that you're writing about the word of truth. He needs you to sit still. That's right. So you can get this right. You know, you as an example, in the, as an example in the Bible, this is a great one right here that we I love here. Mark, Mark 4, Mark chapter 4, verse 39. This is a great verse here. I, I love it. And this is what he said. He got up and rebuked the winds and said and said to the waves, quiet, be still. All the time, the disciples on this boat, freaking out, and he just told the wind to be still. So he was showing the example. If y'all didn't have to get radical on the boat, all you had to do is just sit still. Everything was all right, because I was fighting this battle. I'm in control anyway. God is in control. He runs this. All he asks us to be still and wait on the Lord. Amen. He ain't never left you forsake you yet. Brothers and sisters, you're still living. It's something that he got a plan for you. He ain't let you down. You might be feeling like you're going to live through something because you probably need to go through because you're not sitting still. You're not acknowledging what he has planned your plan. He can't fight the battle if you're in the way. If you study moving, you can't sit down. You got to sit still so he can show you how this battle goes. I got the battle, but I need you to sit still so I can show you how you can fight through this war or this process that you're dealing with. Mm. 
I know already what the, what the end, what the getting in the end is. I just need you to sit still and let me handle this. Mm -hmm. This God that we serve is so awesome that he sent his son just to die for us, mm -hmm. to redeem us from the enemy. So if he sent his son to redeem us from the enemy, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. That means he got this. Amen. It's done. It's a done deal. Mm -hmm. Just sit still and listen. Let me show you how to take this walk. You know, in a minute, you, you in a minute, one of us will say, or uh, 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 brothers and sisters, one of us say, in our ways, I acknowledge God. He directs my path. He directs my path. And in this path, you jump totally off course because you ain't sitting still like you're supposed to. Mm. And I always acknowledge him. And he said to rock your path. Amen. Mm, this is the God that we serve. Yeah. This is who we praise. Amen. He got this. But it's up to you that you sit still and let him handle this. Study to sit still. Sometimes it pays to be quiet and not say nothing. Mm. You talk too much. He can't even get a word in because you talk. He just actually shh, shh, be quiet and sit still. <laughs> I Go got ahead. A plan. Go ahead. This is the plan that he sets for you. Come on, talk to him. That's why he has it. That's why he's getting attention. Brothers and sisters, wherever you're at, he's talking to you about something. Somewhere you need to sit still where he can show you what he can do for you. Amen. He got a plan. You're blessed. Your family might be a blessing for your family. You might be a blessing on the job. It might be a blessing anywhere, in somewhere in the store. But you can't give it to him until you sit still and study what he has to say. Listen. Let the Lord have his way. Let him do the fighting. It was never your battle anyway. It's always been about the Lord. So study to sit still in the Lord and let him direct your path and always acknowledge him. Get your intimate relationship with Christ. You ain't gonna lose because he got this because you put it in his hands. Amen. It's nothing that he would not give you. Nothing. It's nothing he would not forsake you. We expect, he protects and he got this. He done brought us this far, whoever I'm talking to, he done brought you that far, wherever you at. You're still living, you're listening. He got something up. He got to. This is what he does. It's you to receive it and just sit still and let the Lord have his way. He's going to show you something, that eternal life. You live here. You will not die. You have a life that you, a life so abundant, it, 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 you'll be imagined. But let him have his way. Sit still. And I want to thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, it's a great to hear that and what Pastor had to say behind that. It's, it's, a, it's a great, interesting story behind it. That's by, by listening and sitting still. Mm -hmm. you, can, you, you got to somewhere, somewhere you have to change your flow mat. Somewhere you, you have to want, somewhere where you need, you're ready to grow. And sometimes you have to hear terrifying things. God has to get your attention to Amen. be still just Amen. to hear what's going on. Yes. Because you know, you, you, you run, you're running radical and something is going on with you, but you need to hear this. Amen. This is life. This is your life. What you're dealing with, where you're going, where you come, you're calling on him, but where you at? Are you sitting still or are you listening? Mm. Hey, Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we just want to thank you right now.